Look who we have here. Mr. Jamie Purvis. Johnny Mango, how are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm awesome. So, Jamie, the fair is not on, buddy. It's just you and I having a conversation Free for ride. conversation's sake. And yeah, and by the way, we're going to drive to get a coffee. All right, sounds good. Constantly fascinated with the real estate market. Amen. You know when you're like, you know, you, you, you live in this world and you're thinking, okay, well, this is this is where I live. And then something happens and it changes. Like, oh, no, no, it could be this. And then it just keeps going and going and going. I kind of feel like that's happening a lot in our office. Sometimes we, we see things a certain way. And sometimes you've got to get outside of your comfort zone. To, to see and be exposed to something bigger than what you know. Sure. And you were there, I was there. We've we both been in this for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. still look amazing, by the way. We I still look, look really marvelous. young. <laughs> <laughs> what worked doesn't work anymore. You've got to get out there and you know, connect with people, connect with your client base. It's a people business. Yep. It's so simple, I think we tend to overcomplicate it. It's crazy, but fundamentally, I think what you're saying is absolutely accurate. It's people. When you boil it down to it's people. Yeah. Google will give you answers to the questions that you ask, or what the questions you're not asking. Right. Right? Yeah. Find out what's important to people. Yep. Taking time to learn about people. I mean, I've sat in on sessions with you talking about planning, and it's it's difficult for guys like me, because you really don't know what's happening six months from now. You haven't talked to the people that you're going to be helping six months from now, so how do you know they exist, right? Right. Um, but I think I think like one of the things you always preach is just doing the right things all the time, and, like, and, and the results end up coming. You, you just you just know you're doing it. There's a little bit of faith involved for sure, mm -hmm. but it's just the, the right tasks done right over and over again generate repeatable success, right? We'll, we'll say time on task over time. The only thing we can really control is the activity that we do. We, can't, we have no control over anything else, but as an independent real estate agent, we control the activities we do every day. And the only activity that's going to generate a client base for us is lead generation. However you choose to do it. Like, I love what you're doing. I can't do what you do. I'm not you. Right. I may do real estate a different way. And the beautiful part is real estate all works. Traditional door totally. knocking still works today probably better than it ever did because very few people want to do it. Right. A lot of the reason why I'm with the office that I'm now with, which is your office, is the office that you lead up. It's our office. It's our office. Um... You know, I'm on the leadership council. You know, I have a say in how, how business is conducted in our office. You know, it's a direct line of communication with you, with Glenn. It's it's, it's fabulous. Um, it's and it's an office built full of productive productive agents. And I gotta say, I mean, I I was one of those guys you talked about at the beginning of this conversation that was resistant to change. I mean, things worked really well for me. Or so I thought. I think mean, it was really, you know, I was, I was happy being in in that in that environment in this office. Those those walls have absolutely crumbled, and I see a potential that I've never seen before. 